Let's talk about what's been happening in the markets over the last quarter, our general positioning, and really how we're set up for this next quarter. The last quarter was a, a bit of a roller coaster ride to say the least. You know, we had a, a rally, big rally in January, gave a good chunk of that back in February, and then we saw more risk-oriented assets really rallying into that last week of March, basically because the sentiment on banks started to, to stabilize quite a bit. But there's still a big disconnect between sticky inflation on one hand and now these market expectations of actual rate cuts by the end of the year. So even though the Fed's new forecast shows a recession this year, inflation is still set to remain far above that 2% target we're trying to get to. So this basically means we can't expect the Fed to come to rescue with any rate cuts, even as the economy contracts, until inflation's under control. Now, in terms of performance, you can see the range in year-to-date numbers for various asset classes on this chart. But most notably, you know, the NASDAQ has had its best quarter in nearly three years, while the, the yield on the two-year treasuries had an almost you know, schizophrenic-type behavior over the quarter by hitting a 16-year high in early March, but then steadying around 4% in late March, about a full one percentage point below its high. Now, as for our general positioning, we made some changes to our portfolio, uh, basically to reflect these times of uncertainty that we're in right now. Um, we did this by upgrading the overall quality and resilience by reducing exposure to certain types of stock and certain types of credit and rotated out of names with the most essentially, you know, essentially active embedded risk in them. And basically, uh, we, we reduce our exposure to U.S. small caps and momentum-oriented stocks, focus more on growth and international developed market stocks, which has, has paid off. We also an over, uh, maintain an overweight to duration on the fixed income sentence, which essentially just means we look to have investments with a longer-term view, given the potential for a declining interest rate environment. So this overall trade rationale was really based on recent events showing us the real world practical consequences of all this rapid financial tightening. The collapse of, of sizable U.S. regional banks highlights the risks associated with those type of actions. You know, when you, when you raise rates that fast, things tend to break. So we took a more defensive approach by reducing the number of stock bets with the goal of being less sensitive overall to volatility. So I hope that these changes have helped strengthen our portfolio and you know, obviously I'll continue to monitor the markets closely to ensure that we're well positioned for any you know, future developments. So that's a quick summary of what's been happening, you know, how we're set up for this quarter. As always, you know, individual results may vary, and this video is not intended as investment advice. You know, at the end of the day, I, I believe investors who feel like they at least have a rough understanding of what's happening in the markets are much more likely to stick to their long-term financial plan. Um, at least much more than those who do not. So if you're a client of BWM, you should be receiving your performance reports here soon. Don't hesitate to reach out if you want to get into the weeds on anything specific with your uh, personalized portfolio. All in all, we're ready for whatever markets throw at us next here this quarter. Thanks for watching and stay on point. Take care.